All right, so we're gonna do a quick little review of how to make it so we can make things visible or invisible. So when we want to have an action happen on making something happen, we will go ahead and course and click on our button click. And that is where we're gonna make our screen settings happen. And since our main screen is taking us back to our main menu, we wanna have everything we have set up be invisible because we don't wanna see them. And so what we need to do is we need to go over here and in our My Blocks section, we're gonna to go to My Blocks and for each of our screens that we have, we want to set them to be what again? Invisible. So to set them invisible, we go ahead and we find one of our screens. Let's pick a food screen to start off with. And we grab the set food screen up visible method. And we drag it in there. And to set it invisible, what, do we have to, what kind of value do we have to give it? False. And where do we find false? In logic. And that's under the built-in. So we go over here to built-in. And we go to logic. Oh, and there's our false. Fantastic. And we plug it in. And we do the same thing again for all of our other different screens. And so we'll copy that and paste it again. And so we'll set our music screen to false. And we'll set our stuff screen to false. And remember, you can also take your existing true value, click on that little down triangle, and you can change it to false as well. And so now I have a main screen button click. So when I click on my main screen button, all of my other screens are going to go away and I will see only my main screen. And so that takes care of the settings for all of that. Versus when I click on my music button screen, I play my music and my music screen is visible and my food screen and my other screens are invisible as well. So to set something visible, we set the visibility to to make it invisible, we set the visibility to 